lost share relished their size, but it wasn't always the case. I was so lonely and sad and miserable and hated myself. I kind of self-loathing, you know, but I couldn't stop eating. You know, remember I told you one time a watched pot never boils? My mother used to tell me that forever. I used to try to get her to eat vegetables and fruit and salad, but she absolutely refused. You know, I'd put it on her plate and she'd dispose of it somehow. You want sugar? No, I'm good. Her favorite thing growing up was peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> she loved peanut butter. She, you know, would eat a lot of that. And as she got bigger, her world got smaller. She really never went to any dances. Um, you know, she really didn't go to sports events because she was never able to play any sports because of her asthma. So, you know, she really wasn't active in anything. You're welcome. How long do you think we have to bake these? Probably like 10 minutes. Okay, it's 419, 4.29. It made me sad to see her sad. But I used to tell her, don't let what anybody says to you, let, don't, or gossip about you, don't let it bother you, because you're a good person, you're a beautiful person. But I did feel sad when she was sad. Oh, it looks bad, but it tastes good. <laughs> Cher started putting on weight at about the same age as Lisa Marie. We always tried to get her to lose, and I was always yelling at her. <laughs> I feel so relaxed now. Me too. It's so good to pamper yourself. And so clean. My mom, as I gained weight, she had no sweets in the house, and I just, I loved sweets. So just knowing that you couldn't have the sweets, you know, was like an obsession. So I'd go to my friend's house, and I'd say, oh, what do you got? You have cookies, you know? What do you got? Thank you. Thanks. I wanted to dress her nicely, and uh, I don't know, it just bothered me, because we were always conscious of our weight. My son is thin, and my husband was thin, and, and you know, you kind of watch your weight all the time, and she did. <laughs> it was very tough to be the only one that was overweight, so by the time I was in junior high, I was probably 160. And then in high school, I was probably 170. When I got to be in my early 20s, I was probably like 250. But unlike Lisa Marie, Cher did find love and acceptance in the outside world. She always had nice boyfriends, and they were always thin. She was had a lot of friends and outgoing and fine. It was me. <laughs> I was very upset. Now I've accepted it. I have really turned all the way around, and I don't say anything to her and don't eat this, don't eat that or anything. I don't say anything and I've really accepted her. And Lisa Marie's family is proud that she's challenging the way people look at overweight women. Lisa Marie is becoming a uh, celebrity and she has worked very, very hard the past five years to get where she's at today. And I am so proud of her.